Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Complete Solar Photovoltaics for Residential, Commercial, and Utility Systems. We're here today to look into the voltage differences and current differences between parallel connected strings on a grid connected solar power system. And you can see we have a solar photovoltaic cell here in the background. These modules that we're using today produce one volt as they have two solar cells in them. So this one is uncovered. This one over here is covered and we're recording the voltage coming out of the parallel connected modules which is 1.091 volts currently and also the current that flows between them which right now is 0.573 amps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncover the covered module and we can see how the system changes. And we can see that the, the voltage actually went up to 1.198 volts and the current dropped to 0.286 amps. So let's see what happens when we cover up this solar module. So we see the voltage has dropped to 1.172 and we see that the current is much higher and we're now at 0.921 amps. So what this is telling us is that our solar modules are performing differently from each other. And this is a common feature on solar photovoltaic systems that you find that your multiple parallel connected strings of solar modules don't actually perform identically. And it's something to be aware of when you're out in the field performing tests that when you're testing across various strings in a large system that each string is probably going to read quite differently from its neighboring string and this is called mismatch and this is what we have just demonstrated this is solar power module mismatch and it's something that you have to be careful of when you're building a solar power system as it can impact your efficiency and if you want to read more about this subject you can find more details in my book called Complete Solar Photovoltaic for Residential, Commercial and Utility Systems. Thank you.